Every brand has its own attitude and personality and we wouldn't want you to compromise a bit and that's why we let you customize your store in best possible way. Design blocks are nothing but an individual building blocks. Let's talk about the design blocks. Design blocks are nothing but an individual building blocks that are used to design your website. For instance, the website what you see is just the collection of different design blocks put together. For example, here are feature products and category block. It is a kind of a design block. Then you have a single image design block. Next you have double image design block, four image design block and so on. Now let's move ahead and see how can you add such layouts to your website. Once you are in your customize online module, just hover over this area, click on add section and now select layouts. Now here you will see all the different type of beautifully made design blocks. You have a single image design block, then you have two image design block, three image design block and so on. So now I'll show you how you can customize two image design block. So let's select this one. Once the block is loaded, let's give it a suitable title. So hover over this area, click on edit, click on edit text and let's give it a title called this. Now I'll change a font style. Let's add subtitle to this block. Again click on edit text. Let's give this a subtitle. So I have already drafted it. Let's increase the font size and let's change the font color. So I want to change the font color of my title so all I have to do is edit, go to change styling, select text color and I'll go with this color because it suits my theme. Now my block name and the subtitle is done. Let's now move, up, move ahead and add image. To do that click on this existing image, click on change image. Now again you have four methods over here, you can upload image from your PC, add image from an image URL or you can upload it from my image section which consists of all the images you have added site on your website. Next you have image library that is upload image from our database. Let's select my images. Here I already have two images over here. Let's upload the second one in the same method. So you have added your images. Now let's move ahead and add title to this image. I don't wish to display the paragraph that is the description of this image. All I can do is I can delete this section by clicking on delete. Let's add title to this one. Next let's just customize the button but before that let me center align the button. So what I've done is I've hover over the button area, clicked on edit and now I'll click on change styling and I'll change the alignment. Let's name this button as explore.
next let's change the text color so click on edit click on change styling click on text color let's change this text to this one I'll just customize a bit and apply. Let's make it little bold and done. Let's copy the same styling over here. How can you do that? Simple. Just click on copy style. Now click over here. Go to change styling and paste it. So all the styling which you have applied to this text will be copied over here. Now let's customize the button. To customize it, click on edit. Go to change styling. Let's first change the shape of the button. So click on button icon. Select button shape and now let's make it rounded. Now let's change size. So I'll select large. It's too large for this theme. Let's select medium. That's enough. Now let's change the color of this button. Now I want to give it a hover effect. That is, whenever my customer hovers over this button, the button color should change. Now how can you customize it? It's very simple. Click on edit. Go to change styling. Go to color. Now here you have two sections, regular, that is the appearance of this button and next you have the hover effect. So when you click on hover, again you they'll ask you for the button color. So I'll change the button color to say this and click on apply. Now let's see if button color has changed, let's hover on this button, yes. So that's how you apply hover effect on your button. Similar changes will be done on this button. Next let's link this button. Now once my customer clicks on this button he should land to a page where all my products which are related to this category that is beds will be displayed. So basically I want this page to open up. All I have to do is just copy the URL of this page. Now click on button. Go to change styling. Here you have an option called link. So you can link this button to a product, a search, an external URL, a page or an inquiry form, custom payment, fixed payment or download files now since I'm adding a URL so I'll paste the URL over here and save it. so I've linked it to an external URL that is an external page which should open up when customer clicks on this button so let's save it and you're done same changes will be applied on this button design block is ready also you can add animations to this text and images to do that click on text click on animate now here there are several effects given let's select fly in you can preview from here let's customize it now I want my image or font should appear from bottom let's play it this is the way I want my elements to appear on my website. You can also configure the duration and delay per second. And also you can decide whether or not you want animation for the first time and click on save. Again click on save. See this is the way your animations are applied. Let's apply the same thing for this one. I 
have already added some of the animations effect to my other design blocks for example here so as the page loads it will appear as such to my customers now you can also add background color to your design block to do that just hover on the block and you can add background image or background color here you have again four methods and you can select any image or background color and apply to a block background now i want my website to be white because i love white color so likewise you can add edit any design block and apply it to your website and make your website more presentable once all the changes are done don't forget to save your changes so that's how your design block will be visible to your customer whenever your customer clicks on explore this page will open up where all the products that are related to that categories are displayed also if you, if you have noticed the animations is applied successfully we hope that this video was helpful to you if you still have any questions comment below or contact our support team directly for more such videos subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update